Okay, hope you enjoyed that little B-roll sort of introduction there. I uh, thought it would lead to a good sort of intro to today's topic, which is, of course, my gear that I use when I go hiking. This is by far the most requested video I've got, so I figured it was probably about time that I make a video outlining everything that I use. Now, I also just want to preface this one by saying the gear that I'm about to show you is definitely not for everyone. I've somewhat acquired and expensive taste since I've started hiking so if you're looking to get into hiking for the first time this gear is probably not for you unless you just want to jump 1000% in there go for it but yeah this gear is absolutely phenomenal in my eyes and I probably won't be changing too much of it in the future so to kick it off I suppose we'll talk about this bad boy here which is the Atlas Adventure bag and I personally could not be happier with it. It's definitely not going to be for everyone because it is essentially a hybrid photography slash videography and outdoor bag. From here down, you will essentially get room for your camera gear. And from here upwards, it's pretty much, I think it's about 30, 40 liters of just pure space to throw anything in that you want. And in my eyes, it is absolutely perfect for what I need to do. I can throw all of my camera gear down the bottom section here, including my drone, video setup, camera setup, anything that I want down here to be a little bit more protected. And yeah, absolutely perfect for what I need. So I might as well go to this little dongle thing that's sitting here, and that is the Garmin InReach Mini. I've got it just chilling on a little carabiner clip. I uh, just have it hooked there so I can access it super easy and quick if need be. But basically it is a PLB or personal locator beacon. And it is $500, so it is quite expensive, but the peace of mind that you get from carrying this thing is absolutely amazing. And personally, I do not go out on hikes ever without carrying this thing with me now. I do have the $20 monthly subscription, which basically grants you unlimited pre-made text messages to whoever you got loaded in on the mini. But like I've said, the peace of mind that you can get from carrying this thing, if something goes wrong for whatever reason, um, yeah, absolutely worth it in my eyes. Next thing you'll probably see is this little Peak Design capture clip. I will go through this one later and do all the camera gear in one hit. So just keep that one in the back of your minds. Next up, we've got in this little pocket down here, the GoPro, which I'll go through later. Three camera batteries for my camera, which I'm currently filming at the moment. And then on the other side, I have my little Swiss Army knife. Personally, I'm yet to use this, but I think it's just a great little tool to carry. It's got an awesome little knife on it, other little bits and bobs that you can use as well. So quite happy with this one, but <laughs> still yet to use it. And plus it's come all the way from Switzerland. So I think it's kind of cool to carry it with me. Now, next up, we will crack this bad boy open, go into these two clips here and open this little zip. And this is where I store my Nemo Hornet two-person ultralight tent and I gotta say I am so so happy with this purchase I previously had a tent which was about two kilos and since upgrading to this one I have not looked back it is absolutely phenomenal in my eyes for what you get and it weighs next to nothing being just over a kilo in weight it's super, super easy to set up. The footprint is quite small considering it is technically a two-person tent. And yeah, quite, quite sturdy. I've had it in the rain, had it in wind, and it's held up really, really great. So absolutely wrapped with this purchase. So next up in this pocket right here, we have my water bladder, which is the Platypus 3 liter. It's got a water divider in the middle, so it kind of distributes your weight when you're walking, not sloshing around, putting your weight everywhere. I've got the mouthpiece running through this little bit of stitch material here just to keep it in track while I'm walking. It probably is a little bit overkill on some hikes when you fill it right up to three liters, but when I'm going on those longer hikes and water's not so readily available, this thing is absolutely amazing. Now also on the topic of water, I do have the 
Catadyne B3 600 mil water filter. I've recently transitioned from the Sawyer Squeeze to the Catadyne B3 and it is absolutely awesome. The flow rate out of this thing is really, really good and I've used it a couple times now and I absolutely love it. So I will be probably using this for a long time in the future. Now to rip this bad boy open, it's just got a drawstring there to make it really quick and easy to get to. First thing I have on the top is my rain jacket. It is from Marmot. It's quite light and really keeps me warm when it's raining and dry, which of course is the main thing. So yeah, usually carry this one with me when I know it's gonna be a little bit wet and yeah, super, super happy with it. Next up on the list, we have the Jetboil Minimo. It is so, so easy to set up and you can usually have boiling water within a couple of minutes from starting with nothing. Everything is self-contained in this little container. You've got your ignition system in there and also your stand. So all you do is get your gas canister, screw it on the bottom, throw the canister on top of that and let it boil for a couple of minutes and you're absolutely good to go. So yeah, really recommend picking one of these up if you want some boiling water and a really easy hot meal at the end of your day. Moving on to my sleeping quilt, I have the Enlightened Equipment Revelation 10 and I have it in this Cedar Summit extra small dry bag purely because it really helps it come press down into absolute nothing and of course it keeps it bone dry. I absolutely love this thing partly because of the fact it's bright orange but more so because it keeps me nice and toasty at night time. It's rated for negative one degrees Celsius. And personally, I probably won't go into too many conditions that are colder than that. So this keeps me warm in 95% of the scenarios that I probably plan to be in. And of course, if I do plan to go colder, I will probably invest in a warmer sleeping bag, but cannot recommend it enough. So moving on to this little flippy flappy storage kind of area. In here I have my first aid kit in a little Cedar Summit bag. It's got a couple of compression bandages and then just a little bag of goodies, some scissors, some blister tape, lip balm and a little bit of gaffer tape and tweezers, just a little bit of everything as well. Oh, and some uh, ibuprofen just in case I Need to take one of those or a couple of them at the end of the day. So next up is my toiletry bag. In here I've literally just got a little container of hand sanitizer and then a few rolls of the old TP. So yeah, that is my little toiletry bag. Then I've got a bag of wet wipes. Well, they're essentially wet wipes, but they go really, really well at the end of the day when you want to clean yourself up. Usually use two per day, so eight will get me four nights. But yeah, these are an awesome way I've found of cleaning yourself up at the end of the day. Also got my little toiletry sort of bag in here as well. It's got a Bushman, a standard kind of toothbrush, a little bit of toothpaste, a deodorant, so I can have a deodorant shower and feel a a little bit cleaner when I'm feeling super, super dirty, but uh, that's kind of probably a little bit of a luxury and you certainly don't need to bring that. Also got some uh, purification tablets in there as well, but oh, I probably won't be using too many more of those as I've got the Catadyne B3 water filter now. One more thing in here as well, which kind of popped out was the spoon. Now this is just a standard Cedar Summit uh, long handle spoon. Probably would be a little bit better if it was a spork, but yeah, definitely does the job. I had a one that was about half the length of this and found it quite annoying trying to scoop into the bottom of those backcountry meals. Um, you just get all food and stuff all over your hands. So yeah, the long handle, it definitely comes in handy. Now flipping over to the back of my backpack, and we will whack her open. This is where I store my 
sleeping mat. This is the Thermarest Uberlight. It is so, so light and really, really comfy at night time. The only downside of it is that it can take a few breaths to blow up. I usually do get quite lightheaded by by the end of it but I mean it's such a small price to pay and I think it even comes with a bag that you can use to help inflate it if you want to but yeah I, quite, I decided to ditch that for the minimal weight saving that you get but yeah absolutely love this thing and would really recommend getting it Next up is a, another dry bag that I have in here, and this is where I store all of my clothes. Basically have one set of everything in here. I have the Injiji socks. These are absolutely phenomenal. I used to get blisters on the trail, and ever since converting to these, I have not got any blisters whatsoever. So if you do get blisters, I would highly recommend checking these out. They are absolutely awesome. My undies ex officios used to get real bad chafing and now I get absolutely no chafing. So if you do get that, I would recommend trying out the ex officios because they work really well for me. In terms of clothing, I have just a standard Mountain Designs long pants. I do have two pairs of these. One is a zip one which uh, goes around the knees and you can just kind of make it into shorts. but. Yeah, quite impressed with these, and uh, I would recommend getting these as well. Also got a lightweight t-shirt from Mountain Designs as well. Kind of didn't do too much research when I was picking these up, but yeah, reasonably be impressed with both of them, and so can't complain. But that's all I have in my little Cedar Summer dry bag for clothes. Yeah, just one set that I'm wearing and one set goes in this bag. So moving on to my camera gear. Down the bottom of my bag here, I have the Mavic Pro 2 drone. I have had a few drones in my lifetime and this uh, yeah really takes the cake for me. Super, super light and portable and the quality that you get from it is absolutely phenomenal. So. Really recommend picking up this drone if you're interested in getting to sort of the aerial side of things. Also have uh, two batteries here for it, so three batteries in total. I do have four, but I've decided to keep one at home uh, purely just to help save on weight. Controller, of course, need that to operate the drone. A charging cable, which uh, has two ports in it, so I can do multiple charges at the one time if I do end up finding a power outlet. 1300 milliamp jacky sort of portable charger. I've used this uh, on most of my hiking trips and seems to do the job quite well. I can get three iPhone charges out of it, maybe a little bit more, but yeah, this is absolutely awesome and quite lightweight for what you get with it. Also, you got this little carry case where I carry all of my SD cards. Also got a USB in there. Don't really know why, but I like to have one spare. Um, but yeah, absolutely tons and tons of SD cards. Really need to invest in one big 512 gigabyte card, but I'll get there at one stage. I really can't justify it when I do have enough storage here to yeah, last a very long time. So maybe one day in the future, I'll just get sick of using so many SD cards and convert to that. But yeah, that's my little carry case I use for my SD cards. Now back onto the front of the bag, as we were chatting about earlier on in the video, this is the Peak Design Capture Clip. And I absolutely love this thing. Personally, I would not go hiking without it. It's super, super easy when I go to Smack my camera in there, I can just access it at a moment's notice if need be. And yeah, it's always there with me. I don't have to take my bag off at all. And it will not come off. I've tried taking this thing off and absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, if you need to get your camera out really quickly, I would recommend getting one of these and having a look at what it can do. Um, really, really recommend it. Aside from that, that is pretty much it. I do have the GoPro Hero 7 Black. I just use that on the odd occasion where I can't get my standard camera in a certain shot or it needs to be waterproof or something like that. So yeah, that's why I carry the GoPro. And in terms of my main camera, which is the one I'm shooting on at the moment, it is 
the Sony A7 III and absolutely love it. I have the G Master lens, the 16 to 35 mil, um, which basically costs more than the actual camera body itself. So absolutely phenomenal lens, but um, yeah, it's definitely not cheap. On top of that, I have the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. Absolutely love that thing as well. I got a standard little dead cat that slides over it that kind of replaced the original version just to help muffle the any wind noises that come through and generally for the most part i have it sitting on top of the peak design travel tripod i was very reluctant to get this at first purely because of the price tag but i have to say um, it was a great investment on the second outing that i actually used this thing i managed to slip over and landed on the ball head and actually bugged the ball head up so much that it couldn't move and so <laughs> I was really, really gutted, but um, get, ended up getting in contact with Peak Design and they sent me out a ball head completely free and I was so, so wrapped, but I guess that's what you get for the expensive price tag. You get awesome customer service. So really, really happy with the Peak Design travel tripod. Okay, so that pretty much wraps this one up. That is my entire gear load out for when I go overnight hiking or on longer hikes that require a little bit more gear. Obviously, I am missing my food component, but that's a whole nother ball game in itself. So if you're interested in seeing what I eat on the trail, let me know and I will probably consider doing a video on that later down the track. But until then, I will see you in the next one.